What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be flashing this Cyberpunk edition Oxygen OS and about this Cyberpunk 2077 kind of themed Oxygen OS, Dave today did a video on the Cyberpunk loot box kind of thing where there was a OnePlus device with this kind of ROM and yeah that was the official one this is kind of like a port of this particular rom for the redmi note 7 pro this is as you can see it says port and based on android 10 open beta 19 it says and cyberpunk edition version of course and you can go to their support group if you want more information on this and if you want to have like the flashing instructions as you can see there are the flashing instructions listed over here you have to be decrypted first and then you just need to wipe cache dalvik system data and stuff like that and here as you can see it says flash rom flash this encryption zip if you want to get encrypted but by default you have to be decrypted to flash this rom and if you don't know how to get decrypted on the redmi note 7 pro you can click on the card right there and see that flashing guide and in that i have explained how to get decrypted on the redmi note 7 pro with the latest orange fox recovery r11 and here if you need badges you can flash it to pass the safety net test or to use banking apps you need to flash this magic version 20.3 and yeah that's how you flash it pretty much so right now i have already downloaded it let me actually show you i am on the arrow OS rom right now this is a really great rom and if you want to see the arrow OS roms review you can click on the card right there again this is based on android 11 has the app lock and stuff as you can see i have locked this like telegram app over here this is the launcher kind of feature but yeah we are not into that Today I'm just going to be showing you how to flash this particular ROM over here and as you can see this is the file over here it says OnePlus 7 Pro and OB19 that's it that's what it says and it's about 2.53 GB so quite a large ROM file in my opinion or quite a large ported ROM. So right now let me actually reboot to recovery and before doing this make sure you have backed up everything and make sure you have decrypted storage so as you can see i have successfully booted into the latest orange fox recovery r11 and here again i'm mentioning that you make sure that you are backing up everything before proceeding any further things and here first we have to wipe so i'll wipe dalvi cache system vendor and data to actually like flash this from you need to wipe these things so right now the wiping is done so i'll just go to home and go to the file section and from here go to your download section and i'll just select this file i won't flash magisk because i don't need it but you may flash magisk if you are planning to use this as your daily driver so yeah i i have just like swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being i just felt a vibration because i have selected that automatically reboot after flashing so right now it's rebooting to system and it shows this oneplus is splash image kind of here it says powered by android as you can see and do not worry if you're moving from android 11 to this android 10 port because i just did that and as you can see it did that like splash screen kind of went away and came back again so do not worry if this happens to you so as you can see it shows this kind of boot animation it looks really really amazing It's just blinking on that never settle kind of text over there. So it has finally booted into the system. So right now, let me just select this language and let's start the setup. So right now it's time to set up the Fingbit scanner and right now I'm just gonna tap the Fingbit scanner here. Seems like it's setting up fine. So the wallpaper looks really really awesome in my opinion. Let's turn on this double tap to lock in the launcher settings. So inside icon packs as you can see there is the cyberpunk oneplus and oxygen OS kind of thing. Let me go back. So right now let's actually look at the wallpapers here. There are these kind of oxygen OS wallpapers I guess. Are these the cyberpunk ones? I'm not sure. But yeah, this one definitely looks kind of like the cyberpunk themed wallpaper. Let me go into the settings. And this is how the settings looks like inside about. We have this kind of cyberpunk logo up there in this OnePlus kind of device. And here as you can see, we have the like specs of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. 
so yeah and here it's the device name shows as oneplus 7 pro for some reason and here we have the developer's name and the android version as you can see it is android 10 not android 11 let me go back the security patch is actually of october 1st 2020 not quite december or november yet and the stock kernel is hydra plus and except for that in the app drawer we have this dolby atmos over here and as you can see you can use it i guess if you want to over here so yeah you can actually customize it just like this and i can have it on default or there is a movie settings music settings and the custom settings and yeah that's pretty much it you have these kind of icons over here like the settings icon phone icon etc this is how the lock screen looks like and as you can see in the background the samurai kind of logo it just blinks it lights up and stuff sometimes as you can see surprisingly enough there is no stock camera by default over here so that is pretty much it i guess about this cyberpunk edition oxygen OS flashing and yeah it has customizations this definitely feels like normal oxygen OS. on top we have this cyberpunk kind of theme over here and we have all the things of oxygen OS like these buttons and gestures long press to take a photo and stuff is there but the, again there is no stock camera and double tap to wake is there let me actually try to take a screenshot and yeah as you can see taking a screenshot works perfectly fine no issues let me allow it and you can crop it down or like add a shape kind of like this i guess so yeah all these things are there of oxygen os and they should work fine let me actually see if the double tap to wake does work so yeah the double tap to wake again does work and the double tap to sleep on the home screen it works too inside security we of course have the face unlock and the fingerprint lock and stuff like that the display is kind of looking like yellowish just a little bit i would say there is the icon manager of oxygen os let me go back your sim card and stuff should be working fine and yeah this is because of this screen kind of vivid and kind of stuff in vivid it shows kind of yellow colors in my opinion by default in natural is it's like too much blue i would say so the like best thing would be if you calibrate it normally i guess so if you add just a little bit okay so right now i think it looks fine in my eyes but still it kind of looks reddish the reading mode night mode both are turned off but still the display is kind of weird colors in my opinion and of course there is the app locker quick launch and parallel apps and stuff like that i would say it will look even better inside this dark theme as you can see in dark theme it looks way way better and by the way this is how the volume panel looks like and as you can see you can control the volume and expand it just like this so this works fine and let me show you the power menu this is how it looks like if i tap and hold restart now it just reboots to system it shows so yeah inside power menu it's like this and we have this never settle kind of thing over here and yeah this just will show the weather i guess let's open play store and yeah the play store is actually working fine without any issues but i gotta say the icons do look really really awesome in this cyberpunk theme yes there is no stock camera but you can definitely install any gcam unix or the newer gcam version you can install those google cameras and be fine with it i guess but yeah i would have loved to see the oxygen OS stock camera here but that's not present simply so i cannot complain much this is a port so yeah and in terms of drm info as you can see the security level shows as level one here so that means you can use netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here without any issues and if you are wondering about the ir bluster present over here as you can see i have tested the ir bluster it is working fine i am not sure if you can see the light over here i hope you can so yeah the ir bluster is actually working without any issues and about the safety net well it fails because i did not install magisk or flash magisk that is why it is showing this like failed but if you flash magisk version 20.3 i guess and use magisk hide this will simply pass without any issues so if you are gonna use banking apps do flash magisk with the like ported rom file itself and in terms of performance i would say the whole ui is very very smooth at least what i am seeing over here so i do not have any complaints regarding the performance as you can see even in the recent panel everything is buttery smooth if i open anything over here let me just open another app which i have opened earlier 
let's open this dolby atmos as you can see it is still in memory so let's open other apps like this settings panel yeah it is still in memory and yeah let me open the play store i just downloaded this app so yeah it is still in memory i would say everything else is like pretty much in memory without any issues this files i just went back from here so it is not supposed to stay in memory of course let me go over here this dialer again i went back from here let me open this chrome as you can see chrome is still in memory so yeah everything else is keeping it in memory so in my opinion memory management is great and all the apps which were like reloading over here that you just saw where was like i went back from those apps i did not open them like fully so here as you can see even the play store google chrome is in memory the performance is great and if you're wondering about the end to end geekbench score of this rom here are those scores and by the way the charging animation over here looks really really awesome in my opinion so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now